Welcome dear students. Today through this video we are going to solve the most important MCQs of Computer Studies Standard 10th English Medium Chapter Number 3. This video is prepared with the help of a student whose name is Naomi Soni who is studying in Standard 10th in Fatima Convent High School, Bhavnagar. So he is a brilliant student and has a very good voice. So especially devoting her time for the noble cause of contributing towards this YouTube channel with a selfless motive. It is her first appearance on YouTube channel. So I expect that you all students encourage her by watching and liking this video. So let's begin. Chapter 3 Handling Images in HTML Number 1 Which of the following image file format is for Windows and OS 2? Option A GIF Option B BMP Option C JPG Option D PNG The correct answer is Option B BMP Number 2 Which of the following is a valid image file format? Option A IMG Option B MOV Option C MP3 Option D PNG The correct answer is Option D PNG Number 3 which of the following is not a valid image format? Option A, IMV Option B, PNG Option C, BMP Option D, GIF The correct answer is Option A, IMV Number 4 Which of the following image file format is used commercially? Option A, PNG Option B, TIFF Option C, GIF Option D, JPEG The correct answer is Option B, TIFF Number 5 Dash image file format is comparatively slower in reading and writing Option A, TIFF Option B, JPEG Option C, PNG Option D, GIF The correct answer is Option C, PNG Number 6 As the image element does not cause a line break it is also referred to as which of the following? Option A, an online image. Option B, an inline image. Option C, an outline image. Option D, blank image. The correct answer is Option B, an inline image. Number 7. Which attribute of IMG tag provides information about the location of the image. Option A, Align. Option B, SRC. Option C, ALT. Option D, Border. The correct answer is Option B, SRC. Number 8. Which of the following is provided when we use ALT attribute of an image? Option A. Alternative description Option B. ALT key definition Option C. Alternative image Option D. Alternative HTML link The correct answer is Option A. Alternative description Number 9. 
When the web page is read by the dash, the interpretation of the image becomes easy. Option A Screen Reader Option B Web Browser Option C Web Server Option D Both B and C The correct answer is Option A Screen Reader Number 10 Which of the following attributes specify the values of height and width of the image in pixels? Option A Image SRC Option B Height and Width Option C H and V Option D Any of the given The correct answer is Option B Height and Width Number 11 Dash attribute of IMG tag is used to add space to the left and right of the image Option A H space Option B V space Option C Align Option D ALT The correct answer is Option A H space Number 12 Dash attribute of IMG tag is used to add space over and under the image Option A H space Option B V space Option C Border Option D ALT The correct answer is Option B V space Number 13 Dash attribute of IMG tag publishes a low resolution image Option A SRC Option B LSRC Option C SRC LOW Option D Low SRC The correct answer is Option D Low SRC Number 14 When an image is used as hyperlink instead of text it is known as dash Option A Hypertext Option B Hot text Option C Hotspot Option D A or B The correct answer is Option C Hotspot Number 15 Which of the following concept is used to display whole image as a link? Option A Image as Hotspot Option B Hot text Option C Active link Option D any of the given. The correct answer is Option A Image as Hotspot Number 16 Various hotspots put together forms Dash Option A Image Map Option B Map Option C Both A and B Option D. None of the given. The correct answer is Option A. Image map. Number 17. Which of the following are the two types of image maps? Option A. Shopper side and user side. Option B. Server side and client side. Option C. Vendor side and supplier side Option D All of the given The correct answer is Option B Server side and client side Number 18 Dash attribute of IMG tag specifies the name of the map Option A Read map Option B Hashtag read map Option C Use map Option D Map use The correct answer is Option C Use map Number 19 Which of the following tag 
is used to add an image map. Option A image name Option B HTEMP Option C map Option D ALT The correct answer is Option C map Number 20 Which of the following tag mention the shape of hotspot Option A, Map Option B, IMG Option C, Area Option D, All of the given The correct answer is Option C, Area Number 21 Various attributes of dash tag is used to specify the shape and the related links. Option A area in angular brackets. Option B type in angular brackets. Option C place in angular brackets. Option D none of the given. The correct answer is Option A area in angular brackets. Number 22. Dash attribute of area tag mention the shape of the hotspot. Option A. Shape. Option B. Chords. Option C. ALT. Option D. HREF. The correct answer is Option A shape number 23 the dash value of shape attribute of area tag specifies the hotspot within rectangle shape option a rect option b rectangle option c square option d a or b the correct answer is option D, A or B, that is rect or rectangle. Number 24. The dash values of shape attribute of area tag specifies the hotspot within circle. Option A, rect. Option B, circle. Option C, Poly Option D Round The correct answer is Option B Circle Number 25 Dash value of shape attribute of area tag specifies hotspot within polygon Option A RECT Option B Circle Option C Poly Option D All of the given The correct answer is Option C Poly Number 26 Dash attribute of area tag is used to specify the link of the hotspots Option A ALT Option B, Quads Option C, Shape Option D, HREF The correct answer is Option D, HREF Number 27 Which of the following tag is used to insert a video file into an HTML document? Option A, IMG Option B, Image Option C, HREF Option D, IME The correct answer is Option C, HREF Now before going to the online test 
in the comment section please inform me whether you like this type of mcq videos or not according to your comments i will decide whether to prepare this type of videos for all the chapters or not now we come to the second part of the video that is the online test all those students who have given this type of test in the previous chapter may skip this part of the video and start answering the online test and rest of the students who are answering the test for the first time may continue watching the video a link is given in the description of this video as soon as you click on that link this type of online test will start now at present i am explaining you through a tutorial video of chapter number 2 english medium computer studies standard 10th online test now the first thing is you have to answer your name here which is a compulsory thing you may answer your real name or your fake name it doesn't make any difference another thing the marks which you get in this test will be not will not be disclosed to the public it will remain secure only you will come to know how many marks you are getting so first thing is you have to enter your name second or uh, you will have to answer each question one correct answer carries one point so at present i am uh, just clicking on any of the answers okay i am not just clicking on the correct options but i am clicking anywhere to explain you that like this way you will have to answer the test now all answering all the questions is a compulsory thing you cannot skip any of the question for example this test which i am answering is of uh, some 20 or 24 or 25 marks then i will have to answer all the questions and that is a compulsory thing so i have reached the 15 question just now i will finish answering all the questions and thereafter i have to click to click on the submit button as soon as i click on the submit button i will get my marks generally we all are worried about when will we get the results when will we get our marks right so here as soon as you click on this uh, thing that is submit button you will get your mark see here is the submit button i have finished answering all the questions so i click here so this thing will come view score okay how many marks i am getting so i will click on view score so it is displaying that 18 out of 24 now another bet benefit of this type of test is it will show you that which answers you have answered incorrectly for example question number 2 was answered incorrectly so it shows me red color cross and the question is also marked in red and the answer which i have given is also marked here so like this way you will come to know that which which questions answer you are not able to answer correctly now here i have not kept a provision that if this is the wrong answer then this is the correct answer i have not kept that provision for that you will have to watch the video again now the main benefit of this test is at the time of exams when you want to revise all the chapters then you can answer all this test and you will be able to revise all the chapters very easily and at the time of exams uh, i am going to keep a provision in this test like that way that if any of the answer is wrong for example this answer is wrong then it will also prompt you for the correct answer so at once you will not have to watch the video even to know the correct answer so this is all about the online test now you go to the description of this video and click on the link another thing please don't forget to type in the comment section whether i should conduct this type of test and this type of uh, uh, mcq solving videos or not thank you here we complete this video if you like the video please hit the like button and we meet in the next video thank you goodbye